What would you list as your title? Queen. Okay. Queen Lynn Haney Trowbridge. Motherhood is a long, strange trip. How's that? Motherhood is a long, strange trip. Right. How did it start? Oh, well, you know, it's about time I told you the facts of life. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I walked uh, right, right, right into that. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. you were found under a cabbage patch. <laughs> okay. Another question here, and it just says this on the paper. Uh, who is your favorite child, and why is it Sarah? Oh, good God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was very lucky. I got a favorite girl and a favorite boy. We might need to close that window. Well, Alexander is closing the window. I'll give you the lowdown on him. <laughs> I'm right here. You're right. <laughs> Who was your mom? Who was my mom? Oh, my mother was Catherine Woolley Haney. And Woolley um, was her maiden name? That's right. And when you're in Pittsburgh, you know, you have to go to the Woolley's fish market. Were about. you raised partially by your sisters in addition to your mom because you were the youngest of four? By Joyce, by Joyce, mostly. She actually was very good at, you know, raising me. What would you say makes a good mother? Oh, you know, I would say you don't even have to be the mother. You can be another relative or whoever, but it's the person who lets you know that you are loved. Mm. And if you have that, you have what you need to get through in life. Well, then I will say you are definitely my mother. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have felt nothing but loved. Oh. Uh. Pushed. Pushed? <laughs> oh, love. encouraged. <laughs> encouraged <laughs> and loved. Yeah, no. yes. yeah. <laughs> Lynn Haney Trowbridge, colon, fill in. What, what, what does it say on the business card? Writer, speaker, um, coach, and coaching people in writing. Yeah. And so, so primarily, first and foremost, you're a writer. Right. Mm-hmm. And how did you come into that? Um, that's interesting is because uh, I came from an unusually loquacious family. and um, That means talking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Just needs another year of school. Uh, <laughs> our dinner table was, you know, so vital mm -hmm. that you had to be, you, everybody spoke up. There was no and now it's your turn, and now it's just everyone threw in whatever the discussion was, whether, you know, it was the politics of Southeast Asia, the rising cost of bras, whatever it is, you so said there, it. there was no moment where your parents would say, the adults are talking? No. Okay. They would just join in the fray. In addition to being a writer, you're a writer who has a history with, mm -hmm. with news, with journalism. Right. And so one of the things I wanted to ask you was, what was your first memory of hearing about something happening in the news, in the world? The victory over Japan in, in the Second we World War. We won that one? Uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so what happened? Like how, how, did it, how did it come into your consciousness? Because everybody poured out in the streets. I was a little girl, I think I was about four, and I had the shock of my life because we went outside, we went to get in my dad's Model T to drive around and see it all, and I looked around and people were throwing toilet papers out the window, letting them stream out in celebration, but I thought it was sacrilegious. I mean, I was close to toilet trade. <laughs> Have you ever um, considered going back into acting? I'm waiting to be discovered. I'm, I'm working on it, Mom. <laughs> <laughs>